Our next guest did not want to be honored because, as she likes to say, we haven't won anything yet. We recognize her for continuing to organize and operate the largest civil rights event in the world. Nellie said that you cannot allow a little bit of abortion any more than you can allow a little bit of murder. She was a tireless advocate for the unborn child throughout her life. No compromise, no exceptions. She's one who never wavered, was always loving, and showed great respect to every human being. Nellie was a woman of faith and conviction who was called by God, and she responded to that call with wholehearted fidelity. Nellie Gray was a warrior whose untiring efforts, even into her 80s, is a blazing testimony of what God can do to a life fully committed to Him. Nellie just was a truly principled woman and stuck to her principles, even if it meant great personal suffering in her life. And Nellie was a real Renaissance woman. Nellie Gray and the March for Life were synonymous. She wouldn't stop, she wouldn't let go. Once she grabbed something, she would not let go. No matter whom she addressed, young marchers in the crowd or presidents of the United States, Nellie's message was clear, unambiguous, empathetic, and profoundly pro-life. Nellie was one tough cookie. We are so thankful for the legacy that she has left us in the National March for Life. Nellie was really the person who saw the youth coming out in the pro-life movement. Nellie was the one who had us launch Twitter, launch Facebook. She was the backbone that consistently kept the pro-life cause alive and vibrant. Nellie Gray, she was another Susan B. Anthony. She really cared about the dignity of women. You will never know how many children and people are here today because of her work. There is no one in the pro-life movement who was more dedicated, who gave her whole life as Nellie Gray. Nellie Gray reminded us all, every person has a right to life, and our goal needs to be to preserve and guard and protect that. We are now closer to our goal, thanks in part to this great lady, Nellie Gray, our Joan of Arc of the Gospel of Life. We pray today for the repose of the soul of Nellie. Please pray for us. Pray for us as we press forward, running forward, forward, always forward for life. Thank you, Nellie Gray, for being a no exception, no compromise champion for the life of the pre war When we put this together, we thought there was going to be one march. Then we realized Congress wasn't going to help, and we better have a second march. And what I am saying to you is, we will be here until we overturn Roe versus Wade. And believe me, we are going to overturn Roe versus Wade.